going to break down, react, and review Natalie Mae Paris singing Heart of Stone from Six, the musical. So let's sing something. La la la! If you are new to my channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell icon because I come out with a new video every single day teaching you how to sing. Yay! Now today is actually video number two of a six-part series for Six Sundays. Um, I am actually wearing the queen color. I was told it was white for this queen, and truthfully, I have like no white shirts. Um, this is as white as it gets because I like coffee. And those of you that like coffee know what I'm talking about. A just a white shirt just doesn't survive. But this one so far has, and I'm wearing it, representing it, because today we're going to hear the song Heart of Stone. Now, this is a version of Natalie Mae Paris singing it at an actual sound check. So this is not actually on stage performance, but from what I've heard, this is actually a really good one. I'm not able to do bootlegs on my channel because it does put my channel at risk of getting shut down. However, it's not really a bootleg, this one. So we're gonna go through it. I'm gonna tell you how she's doing, what she's doing vocally, and how you can do the same thing. And as we're going through this, just so you know, I will also be putting together a PDF printable form of everything I'll be going over, and that will be available at vocalfreebies.com. Just click on Cheat Sheets, click on Six the Musical, and it will have all of the cast with the different vocal breakdowns and printed out. Come on back and follow along. So, um, yeah, let's do this. You've got a good heart, and I know it changes, a restless time, untamable. You came my way, and I knew a soul could come to you. You'd lift me high, or let me fall. I love the dynamics that she's already bringing into this with, you lift me high. It's like, it's not high, it's high, or let me fall. And then she brings down her volume, adds in more excess air. If you're trying to do this, it's the same idea. You're going to hit the sound. So think of the sound kind of coming out like a rubber band in some ways, and you're going to hit it and then release it. Um, and then as you release, think of the space kind of opening up. And then if you want to bring the dynamics back down like she just did, then you can pull back that volume as well as add in a little huh, excess air. But I have a feeling she's going to bring in a little more excess air later on and I'll point it out again for you. So there's a little bit of being held back. Um, you can lift me up, lift. It's instead of you can lift me. She's not coming all the way out with it. She's purposely holding back the sound just a little bit. Now, as you go in to practice something like this, you may feel a little bit of tension. Um, and as you do that, I want you instead to think of the tension heading down into the body rather than the back of the throat. And this will help still create space with that dynamic. Clearly, she's going to be doing this on purposes because as the song builds, she's then going to open up more and more and more power is going to come out. Do you like to sing? Then you should join my Facebook group. We go live with vocal warm-ups, singing Saturdays, warm-up Wednesdays, and even our monthly group challenge with all sorts of prizes. Click the link in the description below and join our creative community of singers just like you. When the 
Yep, so still keeping it gentle, still lightly going about it. It's it, This is genius, because this song is long. <laughs> you sang with perfect, a perfect family. You hold us close for the world to see. she went up into to you it has an airy there's that excess air that i was talking about earlier to you instead of a full belt which i'm sure she's gonna get into later if you're approaching that and you want that lighter kind of falsetto sound then all you need to do is separate the vocal cords and how you do that an easy trick to it is by putting an h so it's not to you it's to you to you you to you hue, like the color, a hue, um, to hue. By adding that H is going to make the vocal cords kind of pull apart just a little bit and allow that excess air to come out to you. And then of course, as time goes on, you'll gain a little more control of it, but it will have that softer texture to it. But I know without my son, your love to this um she's already starting to open up a little bit more but that choir was just so loud it was kind of hard to hear her um i'm assuming sound check hence they're gonna mess with all the levels and stuff like that and the actual performance probably was perfect going into these big belting notes I want you to take notice of where her energy is sending she is going to as more and more as this is increasing she's sending the sound down into her body and she's not going to reach up for it there may be a head that goes back every once in a while for dramatic reasons but if you look at her body her knees are going to bend and her body is going to the weight is going to drop down in and what this does is this takes away tension as she's going into it even as she leaned over she bent into her legs and it keeps the dropped shoulders it keeps um, makes it so that way you have more space in that throat and so she's able to open up the pathway for this beautiful mixed belt to come on out Oh. Yeah. 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 
So that's beautiful. Just like I said, with that belt, she sent her energy down, her weight down. It allowed that space to really, really go into it. Her jaw unhinged. She kept a lot of open space. And so she's really taking advantage of that space. So that way, think of it, the difference between singing in a closet full of clothes and singing in a bathroom. Everyone sings in the shower because it's open. There's space. So it grows and builds and the acoustics are amazing. It's similar inside. The more the tongue's in the way, the throat's tight, there's tension, is like more of a closet. It's going to absorb your sound. But if you pop open that space, that's why vocal coaches talk about it all the time. By creating that space, then the sound can travel freely and develop up and grow and come out and sound amazing. I think you guys probably heard as she leaned over and she went for it. She definitely tightened up her core too much, got a little too far over in character and a little further away from vocal um, technique. I would have liked her to not ah, gotten in so much that it put her off pitch. Um, however, everything else has been sounding really, really good. Um, I like the oh that whole section. Um, I'd like to see a little more awe space in her O to again help open that up. But let me make one note. This is sound check. So she's not giving it 100% and considering that this is fantastic. I love that she's even giving us what she's giving us considering there's probably no audience there whatsoever. So she's she's doing so amazing. I, I really wish I could see her in full performance mode because I bet you it's just blows me away. here for my free downloadable cheat sheet on how to sing like Natalie Mae Paris and other cast members of Six. Click here for all of the Six Sunday videos and if you're a singer and you want to learn more about how to do what you're doing and we do challenges and prizes and all sorts of fun stuff even karaoke rooms click the link below and I will see you in there and I will see you next Six Sunday. La la la!